Hey, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best video editing apps for Instagram in 2018. All right, welcome back to another video, guys. If you're new here, my name is Jack. I produce weekly video production themed content, whether it be video editing, videography, or filming, and uh, also how to make money making videos and sharing all the ways that I'm personally making money making videos um, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis even. Overall, just giving away a bunch of the information I know based around video production. And in today's video, the topic that we're kind of focusing in on is gonna be the best video editing apps for Instagram. Um, by all means, these are not gonna be the free video editing apps for Instagram, or one of them is, the one for uh, Android, but the one for iOS is not. So, I know this, that could be a little bit annoying, in the description down below, I've got two very thriving videos. Uh, one is themed towards iOS, the other is themed towards uh, Android, and uh, both of them break down some free video editing apps you could get for either of these platforms. But in today's video, we're gonna jump into hands down the best video editing apps for Instagram and overall for mobile uh, in general. But let's get into it. Now, um, on Instagram, obviously, a bunch of big creators are producing really high quality content. Maybe when you look at this, uh, you know what I mean? It, it's not what it would look like if you went outside and just shot an easy Instagram video and just uploaded it straight away. And that's because they're using these Instagram video editing apps, or not even Instagram video editing apps, just straight up video editing apps to actually just improve the uh, the quality of their content and overall improve what they're doing. And by the way, just a quick plug, here is my Instagram on screen. If you're not following me already, by all means, follow me over there and uh, you know leave me a comment to say what's up. But let's jump into it. Now, um, the thing that's different about looking for an Instagram video editor opposed to looking for a regular mobile video editor is that the majority of mobile video editors cater towards widescreen video editing. And obviously, Instagram, eh, that's not the best kind of um, format to be uploading to Instagram, or at, le at least not in my opinion, because uh, widescreen on Instagram, you're going to be losing a lot of the screen because it's going to have to crop it down, which is great if you're watching on a 1920 by 1080 monitor, but on that small screen, you're going to lose a bunch. So out of uh, portrait or out of square, which are the other, other two kind of options you could use to film um, or to actually process the video as, I would probably choose square or portrait because you're actually going to be fitting the most into your actual uh, frame. But that's just a little bit on the actual composition side. Uh, now let's jump into personally the best video editing app for Instagram on iOS. Then we'll jump into the best video editing app for Instagram on the Android. And the uh, iOS one is actually Luma Fusion. Luma Fusion is definitely a name that rings bells around the actual uh, kind of mobile video editing community. It is hands down, in my opinion, the best video editing app for iOS and uh, specifically for uh, Instagram video editing. Obviously, it has multiple tracks, so you could be talking about something like, like I am and then add B-roll, like for example, in this video I'm adding. It has some of the most advanced color correction tools for a mobile video editor that exist on, across any other video editing app on the iOS. Hands down, it is completely uh, extreme control that you actually have when twisting these colors and actually uh, just making them look more shiny and actually pop a bunch more. Overall, you then have a bunch of control over the volume, whether increasing it in certain points, decreasing it in others, and um, you know, to actually finalize what is really included here would be uh, the titles, and um, I think that's really the only thing I could say that lets this particular um, Instagram video editing app down. That is the titles. The titles, that they're, they're, they're just not that great. There, there are some animations there as well uh, with the titles. So there's kind of regular titles and animated titles, but overall the titles is not a deal breaker by all means, but it's definitely a weakness and it does let this program down, hands down. Um, and also to top it off, LumaFusion is $27. So it's not a very cheap app. That is like a quite a pricey app right there. The majority of apps obviously at, at a maximum, there may be like $5. So 27, that's a lot, but hands down, it is the best video editing app for Instagram. I'm sorry about that. My phone just went off, but yes, this is hands down still, even though it's $27, you know what I mean? It is the best video editing app on iOS for Instagram. But like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, obviously I know not everybody can afford just to drop 27 bucks 
on an app. So by all means, I've linked some very reputable, very good apps for iOS that are completely free down below. Um, it comes in the form of another video of me talking about it. So by all means, go over to that video and you'll be able to actually get the uh, more free versions of you know something like LumaFusion, but hands down LumaFusion is kind of the best of its kind. So that's why you have to pay that money. But moving on to my Android people now, by all means the Android app I'm gonna be uh, actually showcasing to you is gonna be Power Director. Power Director is included in my free uh, video about the Android apps as well, which is linked down below because yes, Power Director, it's a free app. And it's amazing value for a free app as well, which you know what I mean, which is great. You know what I mean? Sometimes the free apps, they're going to try slack on quality because technically, what are you going to complain about? They're giving you something for free. With this app, I really don't think they've taken that approach and they've actually kind of held it down for their uh, community of people to use this. And um, you know what I mean? It comes with all sort of the regular things you kind of require from a video editor or at least a good one, right? Such as multi-track video editing. Um, when it actually comes to the color correction and color grading, I know I know I bigged up LumaFusion heavy, but this has even better color correcting and color grading than LumaFusion did. And hands down, I think LumaFusion might be one of the best apps, um, video editing apps that actually have significantly good um, color grading and color correction um, tools actually you know, for, for, for good, easy use on these, uh, on these applications, but hands down power director tops that even, and it comes in with some amazing color, uh, tools, some amazing things you can really do to those colors. And for a mobile app to be really giving you this much control to actually improve the quality uh, of the color correction that much, it's a big deal, definitely a big deal. Um, and uh, overall power director is amazing for this. Obviously it also has basic, basic things, um, like, you know what I mean? Multi-track video editing, etc. You'd hope every single video editor on iOS, Android, or computer have multi-track video editing, or else what, what are you really doing there? You can't really do much. Um, the titles are also way better, like significantly a lot better. Uh, so if you're worried about that, if that was kind of a deal breaker for the LumaFusion, then by all means, um, you guys could actually get PowerDirector on the Android and, and you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter. And by all means, LumaFusion, I feel as though they could fix those titles very easily, but you know what I mean? Maybe it's just not big priority to them. Either way, uh, LumaFusion, great app. PowerDirector, great app. The only annoying thing about it as well is it doesn't support Square video, right? Um, which obviously, as we discussed, Square is probably, uh, Square definitely rather, is the format on Instagram, which is gonna let you see the most Unless it's we're, unless we're talking about a story format, which you know what I mean, you probably want to put the portrait. Um, but either way, avoid widescreen. Um, Power Director does not technically support Square. However, of course, common sense would probably tell you that you guys can just save the video in portrait mode, and then you know what I mean, do the crop in Instagram where you're gonna take some off the top, take some off the bottom, and uh, chop that portrait down to a square. Overall, that's gonna be the best format to actually give you kind of the most uh, visibility in terms of your video and actually fitting the most in there in still a way that you're gonna be able to see everything nice and up close rather than the widescreen, which makes it super small. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but again, thank you guys for watching the video. If you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe for more video production themed content every single week. Again, my name is Jack. If you're new here, like I just said, subscribe for video production content all the time, every single week, damn near every single day. Um, again, if you don't wanna buy LumaFusion and you're an iOS uh, video editor or you're looking for an iOS video editing app for Instagram, by all means, click the description. I have, uh, you know, I think it's three best free video editing um, apps for iOS linked down below in terms of a video. So you can go to that video and then, you know, see the other ones. But thanks for watching. I've been Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. All right, so I'm editing this right now, guys, and obviously we're right here at the end of the video, but if you're watching, I just felt I needed to make it a little bit more clear that you guys can actually, if you're not pleased with the uh, ideas I've presented in this video, you can uh, actually head over to two separate videos that I've created, kind of individually breaking down some cheaper, well, not even cheaper, just completely stand, uh, or hands down, completely free video editing software for iOS and video editing software for Android. And I'm gonna be linking both of those down below in the description. You can simply go down there, click them, and uh, actually be relocated to one of those videos. And we're gonna actually be running through, I believe, three or more different options for both iOS and Android to actually be getting yourself some video editing software on these um, different OSs, these operating systems that you can actually be 
uh, editing these kind of micro content, these mini little videos for Instagram. Obviously, it's not set for Instagram. You could be editing them for Facebook, for Twitter, for any of these other social medias, even for YouTube. And uh, overall, just if you want a kind of on-the-go video editing software and you don't want to be paying like 27 bucks like LumaFusion was in this video, which I understand a lot of you guys are probably in that boat. By all means, you can click the links in the description, go to these other separate videos where I'm breaking down the completely free mobile video editing software for iOS and the mobile video editing software for Android. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.